How's it going guys? This is Dirty Desktop here. Now, I'm going to try to help you get rookies out there. I'll definitely try to avoid calling you guys noobs because I didn't like it, so I don't want to pass the buck. This video hopefully will help you out a little bit. First thing I have to show, tell you guys is get a pair of headphones. The best thing you can do. Another thing is get a mic. That will also help. Communication through Victor or Bravo will definitely help during gameplay. Victor or V is for team chat and Bravo is for global chat. Now, you don't want to tell your position to your enemies, but you do want to let your friends know. So keep that in mind and don't just start spamming over global. On some servers, you will get kicked. Another little hint is your left alt. That is tactical mode. That allows you to sneak a little bit quieter, but you can also go prone. Uh, if you want to start sneaking around, definitely use tactical mode. It just helps a lot. And with the headphones, though, you got a good player with a really good set of headphones. They're going to be hearing you even when you are in tactical mode. But it's still not as loud as you running around. And to sprint, you just have to hold sh press shift. It's really not that hard. Um, another thing is get comfortable with what you have for your settings. Uh, the way I mine are set up, what I'm used to. I have lower resolutions because of my monitor, but I always have it on full screen. I want that whole screen to show so I can see what's happening. My dual render scope is always off, but I will definitely show you guys what it does. Um, see how it dramatically affected my FPS, but. Now the signs are as clear as if I walked right up to them, as you'll see here. I mean, this is clear as day, but you gotta realize that it's trying to take that circle, amplify it, and as if it's its own screen. And it tends to really decrease your movements, whether it's up, down, left, or right. Now, depending on your quality of machine, You'll be able to change the shatter, the max, and the anti, however you want. The higher, the more of a machine you get, the higher you can put those, and the better quality is going to be. Uh, you can also do the frame rate smoothing with the max frame rate. I always display my frame rate so I can see what's going on. V-Sync allows you to change the performance to fit your monitor. It's not going to go faster than the resolution, or the, it's not going to go higher than the resolution of your monitor. It's not going to have more frames per second than your monitor. And it just kind of dumbs down everything else. Uh, the dynamic lights and dynamic tracers are also helpful. I always have my dynamic, dynamic lights on and tracers on, especially with my new system, just because it makes gameplay easier. Things, your depths look different way things are moving looks different your enemies will look different depending on where they are and the tracers help find your enemy and find your friend they will definitely be changing depending on where they're coming from where they're going so that's what I usually do I'll apply the changes after I change my uh, render off I don't like that and you can go through get things set up how you like it obviously you know you're gonna fight different Play different depending on your machine and depending on you. As you can see, we got some. Oh, nope, never mind. Glass isn't broken. I'll fix that real quick here. <laughs> I like breaking glass. That's always fun. When you're sniping, when you have the proper sniper rifle, which if I press F1, I can easily switch to because that brings up my loadout. I'm able to switch to my sniper. When you're in the game, though, it's not going to be like this simply because you're in a match. No one's able to go from an M4 to a sniper rifle unless they've picked it up. You can also hide behind these chairs, uh, which comes in handy because you can't shoot through them. But with this glass, obviously, it's going to be harder for them to see you, and maybe you to see them. That's why you got to really be careful. But it also allows you to shoot one shot, one kill, without them being able to. As you can see, it takes a lot of rounds for this pistol just to get through and break that glass. Our sniper rifle will meet put around right where you want it. 
And if you're shooting through two panes of glass, it's going to throw it off a lot, as it would in real life. <clears throat> See, I aim for that corner there. Where did it land? I don't even see it. It looks like it doesn't even go through very well. Because if it did, I see that blue mark. So, keep that in mind. One pane of glass is going to give you. Uh, as you know, I have the blue marks simply because I went to miscellaneous. And I have simulated rounds on. I love that. Just more fun when you can paint something blue. So, and another thing is you don't have super hops so if I jump I'm dead don't you love that sound oh it's fantastic isn't it I'm just gonna go back to my rifleman here quick yay alright uh, there's your objective obviously you're gonna press F to pick that up and you can run it in to where we were which is Zulu I said F to pick it up right I hope so as we're running along, here we go. Yippity doo -da. You can slide, which is always nice. Changes where you're going to get shot, but not. Changes the hit markers. Here's the golden goat, the prize golden goat. Pop. Right in the butt talks. Then we have the silver man, which is really cool because it changes. This is a little Easter egg for you guys. The man, he changes. As you can see here, I got this cool chain skin going on. Don't know how that happened. But this is what you unlock. If I go to my loadout screen, as you can see, we have what's called or we have the weapon challenge. These are what you're gonna use to gain skins and scopes. As if you've seen my last video, you know that while you're exploring you can use all the scopes. And you have all of the pistols and whatnot. But when you're in game, online, a lot of that's taken away. And as you know, we have the CZ2 that we can have for a pistol. Some say that the sights are screwed up on it. I haven't had too much of a problem with it. Uh, you need to unlock this pistol, and you do that by secures. I'm not online with anyone, so I can't really do that. So we talked about headsets, we talked about the settings, some of the mouse keys, obviously, I can't jump. Using that stealth mode will obviously help the tactical. Another thing that will help, no matter what sort of uh, class you are, is using a supported position. This makes shots a little bit easier because you're a little bit more stable as you'd be with anything. But another way to get stable shots is simply crouching and going prone. When you're standing, you're less accurate. Crouching, you're a little bit more accurate. And prone, you're extremely accurate. Um, there's my old rifle. Hey, rifle. How's it going? Bam. If you notice here, I have the sniper rifle. I have no crosshairs, as I do with my pistol. And that's really cool. Because then... You don't get guys to no scoping you halfway across the map and whatnot, or standing in front of you and no scoping you. It takes a bit of skill to no scope on in this game, but the pistol has a shorter barrel, so yeah, you can obviously not sight up. But with the pistol, though, even though I'm landing close to the same spot, when I fire, I have a circle going on here. But if I zoom up. I'm able to get a little bit more consistent here. And they're more on target. Same thing will go with any weapon you have. Now, another trick here, another hint, is your nades. Now, obviously, trigger is going to allow you to pull the pins. But your right click allows you to release the spoon, cook it a little bit before it goes off. You'll f see guys in here that cook it just the right amount of time so it explodes right in your face. That's always fun, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm no expert, guys, so what I know is probably minor to what some other people know. And that's where watching players help. That's the most helpful hint I can give you. Watch people. Um, that's where I learned a lot of things, like simply always just kind of 
pressing it a little bit so that you're in the right spot for firing when you're on a corner. So that's what I got for you guys today. Um, stay tuned. Um, pretty soon I will be making a video here, hopefully, with some of my buddies. A little bit more experience with these ga this game than I have. And they might be able to give you some more hints and tricks that I may not be able to. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below in the comments section where comments go. Feel free to like and subscribe, like the video, or subscribe to my channel. Either one works for me. Um, also, if you have any ideas for videos you want me to, games you want me to make videos of, feel free to leave them in the comments below or email me at dirtydesktop at gmail.com. That's it for me, you guys. I hope you have fun. Just remember, keep the tires and light the fires and let's just have fun.